Welcome to another Tech Help Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to see how to streamline your Microsoft Access VBA code with the with keyword. With the with keyword. <laughs> what is with? Well, with is a VBA keyword to simplify and streamline your code by reducing the need to repeatedly reference the same object. It improves your code readability and maintainability and it makes it a whole lot easier to type. For example, consider this little block of code here. If we're building a string called S and we wanna to add to it the first name, last name, phone number, and so on fields from the customer F form, we have to say S equals S and forms customer F first name, forms customer F last name, forms, and you get it, right? You get to repeat that every time. Now you can copy and paste it, but if you got to make a change later on, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of work. So that's where with comes in. With with, you just say with and then the object name right here. So it's forms bang customer F. And then after that, inside this with block, right? All you have to do is say bang first name, bang last name, bang phone number, and so on. Instead of having to copy forms customer F for every one of those lines. It's also handy if you want to reference control properties. Like let's say the first name. All right, you want to set its value equal to Joe, and then you want to change a bunch of property values, like visible is true, enabled is true, locked is false, whatever. Okay? With the with keyword, now you can say dot value, because value is a property, right? Dot value equals Joe, instead of saying first name equals Joe. And then dot visible equals true, dot enabled equals true, dot whatever, 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 and then end with. And all of that happens to the first name. I use with a lot with record sets. Now, this is a simple record set. And to be honest, if I just have an RS, that's easy to type. RS first name, RS last name. But if I have multiple record sets going on and they got long names, usually at least one of them I'll put inside of a with block. So then it looks like this with RS, right? While not dot EOF. So that's RS dot EOF, right? And then status first name. Bang, first name is the RS, first name, RS, last name, RS, phone, dot, move, next is part of RS, right? And this is great, especially if you have longer record set names, okay? And then when you're all done, end with, and everything goes back to normal after that. So why use with? It's less typing. You don't have to copy and paste a bunch of stuff. It's easier to read and debug afterwards, I think. Uh, it's easier to maintain if you have to make changes, and it's potentially faster in loops. I'm going to say maybe on that because I haven't tested it personally and I don't like telling you guys something's true if I haven't 100% verified it myself, but I have read this in many different places. Different books and articles say that it can be faster in your loops. I'm not sure. If any of you want to test it out, let me know. Please do. <laughs> it makes sense to me that it would be faster because again, it only has to reference that one object, right? One time instead of a bunch of times every single time. When not to use with, well, don't bother with with that the object is only used once, right? You wouldn't say with, you know, forms customer F and then you're only using first name or even just first name and last name. That's up to you. And I personally don't like nesting with blocks. You can, you can nest widths inside of each other, but I never do that because then it gets really confusing because then the most recent width is the one that takes over and just don't, just don't do it. Use it for one thing at a time. Trust me. <laughs> So that's it. That's the with keyword in VBA. It's another tool for your box, another Lego for your playset. But that's going to be your tech help fast tip for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. 
Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover 
lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just Access. These are the full-length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a Diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.